Um, you're often regarded as a very formidable speaker and have changed the minds of many with facts and reason. So my question for you is, have you ever had your mind changed on a topic through civil discourse? And if so, what are some of these instances which particularly stand out to you? Sure, so the, the two that come to mind particularly, I would say that the, the issue of marijuana legalization, I've changed my mind on over time, uh, that, <laughs> now, now, let me make clear that the experiences that changed my mind were not, my mind were not of the sort that you might think. Uh, I still think that, w that smoking pot is a complete waste of time, kills brain cells, and is not a good idea as a human. But with all of that said, the data, the data on the efficacy of government regulation of marijuana or criminalization of marijuana demonstrates that it's been basically a giant failure of a program. Uh, and so there I think that the data have, have changed my mind uh, on that issue. Uh, another area where I think that the data have, have changed my mind somewhat, uh, but not completely, is the area, believe it or not, of global warming. Not that I say that global warming is entirely man-made or that the solution to it is cap and trade, but I think that the data stack up in favor of the idea that the climate is over time getting warmer and also that man does have some sort of impact on it. Now that, again, doesn't state the solution. This is where, it's, it's really funny, there are a lot of folks on the left where I say, yeah, I think global warming is happening, I think that man's activity has something to do with it, and people on the left are like, you're a denier. I'm like, well, wait, what? I didn't deny anything. And they say, well, what, you're, you're a denier because you don't want cap and trade or because you don't want massive, burdensome government regulations. Right, because my preferred solution is technological advancement in this area as well as investments into infrastructure in different areas of the country because it turns out the climate has been changing pretty radically over time for the past several billion years and that human population patterns have been changing for several million years. So that's, a, uh, so, yeah, that, that's where the disconnect is. But... Uh, I, whenever people provide me data, I try to at least think through whether I think that, you know, that, that should impact my point of view.